What are you doing right now as a real estate investor? What should you be doing as a real estate investor to stay profitable in today's market? We're headed into a transition in the market and you need to adapt in order to stay ahead of the curve. Uh, a lot of investors right now are scrambling, but you don't necessarily need to scramble if you're strategic with what you're doing in your real estate investing business. So today I'm going to share with you five tips on what I would be doing and what I am doing as a real estate investor to keep my business moving forward and adapt to the current market situations. Incorporate what I'm going to show you today and you'll be well on your way to staying profitable in today's real estate market. Perfect. All right, so tip number one, start building relationships with cash buyers. If you're wholesaling real estate right now, the most important thing you could be doing is networking with cash buyers, establishing relationships with cash buyers. Why is this reasonable? Well, first and foremost, as we move into a buyer's market, logically, you want to start doing business. You want to start establishing rapport with cash buyers because it's going to get very easy to get sellers to sell their properties at discounted prices. So logically, you want to start building relationships with cash buyers. Now, one tip that I'm going to share with you on how to get started building relationships with cash buyers and landlord buyers specifically, guys like me and other investors out there who are looking to hold on to properties long term as a wholesale real estate investor. I'm going to link a video up at the top that you can check out and it will specifically show you exactly how to start building relationships with the right kind of buyers for today's market through a site called GoSection8.com. So be sure to jump on GoSection8.com, grab all of the information that you need, following the directions in that video that popped up on the cards there, and uh, be sure to incorporate everything in that video to uh, get your cash buyers list going. Now again, what you're looking to do is build relationships with buyers, but not just any type of buyer. You want investors that understand the market, they have longevity in this business, they've been buying for a long time, and they know that now is an opportunity to make a lot of money in real estate. All right, so tip number two, focus on virtual real estate investing. This is a great market to transition from local and offline investment strategies and going virtual in your real estate efforts. This will allow you to expand your horizons in your real estate investing business, tap into new markets. You don't necessarily need to be tied to a local market all the time. So focus on virtual real estate investing. Now, when it comes to virtual wholesaling, I have specific strategies that I personally use. I have one video that I'll link up at the top that'll show you exactly how to make offers over the phone. I have another video, we'll link it up at the top as well. It's gonna show you how to estimate repairs over the phone. And if you feel uncomfortable estimating repairs over the phone, use things like FaceTime and Zoom. I would prefer to use Zoom in order to be able to record the video and have the seller walk through the property in order to give you an idea of what the property condition is. Then at that point, if you record the video, you're going to have the video to be able to send out to all of your cash buyers who are buying right now. And then uh, you eliminate having to go out and look at the property. So definitely incorporate Zoom into your business so that you can virtually see the property. And if you don't have access to Zoom, go to the video up at the top. I'll show you exactly how to use the square footage approach and estimated repairs. But I'm going to recommend you use an app like Zoom or a website like Zoom to be able to get an idea of what the house actually looks like. Have the seller walk through the property, record the conversation, and take that video and send it out to all your buyers and let them know that this property is for sale. Let's move on to the next tip. Perfect, perfect. Tip number three, lower your offer prices when you're making offers to motivated sellers. So we've established that you wanna focus on cash buyers. We've established that you wanna go virtual, especially uh, during a time period like this. But number three is to lower your offers. So a good formula to use would be the Mayo formula, the maximum allowable offer formula with an adjustment. So basically what I do and what I'm doing right now, and I do this honestly in every single uh, market, no matter what the market condition is, 
I'm always using the same formula. The only thing that changes is my profit spread because in a seller's market, we make more money, but in a buyer's market, we can still make a lot of money. The only difference is it becomes more in the buyer's favor. So what we do with the mail formula is we do the after repaired value, which is exactly what the house is worth if it was completely fixed up. We take that value and then we multiply that number by 0 0.60 or 60% of the fair market value of that particular property. And then all we do is we subtract the repairs. All right, so let me repeat that. We take the after repaired value, we multiply that number by 60% and we minus the repairs. That's how you're gonna stay ahead of the game in a market condition just like this. All right, y'all, so tip number four, focus on creative real estate investing strategies. You know, I say it all the time. If you focus on creative real estate investing, there's no way that you can lose. And the best part about focusing on creative investment strategies is you still get the benefit of wholesaling. The difference is you get to continue on with the income. So you could do the work once and get paid from the property many times over. So not only do you create wholesale like profits on the front end, but you also create residual income every single month and you also get paid on the back end when you decide to sell. Now, some of the uh, creative real estate investing strategies that I highly recommend using in this market are subject to investing, owner financing, you got things like lease options, you got wraparound mortgages. I have videos on all of this stuff on my channel and I'll link some of it in uh, the cards up at the top and I'll also link some of it in the description box below. Definitely take full advantage of creative real estate investing in today's market in order to succeed as a real estate investor. So tip number five is to extend your contracts out at least 90 days. So the reason why you wanna do that is because we don't know what's gonna happen over the next three months. We have to give ourselves time to adjust to the current real estate market. So extend all of your contracts out. Any old contracts or houses that you have under contract right now, go to the seller, renegotiate the extension period and possibly even renegotiate the price point. You don't wanna be paying the same price in a buyer's market as you would pay in a seller's market. So renegotiate your contracts, renegotiate the time period that you have on a contract, extend them out at least 90 days. Any new contracts that you get, be sure to push them out as far as possible. If you have a contract on a property, again, I have a video for that right up at the top. I just recently shot a video sharing my extension agreement or my extension addendum that I'm using in order to get all of my contracts pushed out. So use these strategies in order to stay profitable in your real estate business right now. You want to start with finding cash buyers first. I had a course years ago, we're going back maybe 10 years, called the Property Umbrella Blueprint. And in that course, I showed investors how to start finding cash buyers first, how to wholesale real estate by finding cash buyers first. So use that strategy as the first method in order to be profitable in today's market. Number two, you want to go virtual, all right? Start incorporating, making offers over the phone. Start using Zoom to view properties. Have the seller walk through the property and record the entire video so that you can pass it on to your cash buyers, right? Uh, start using the square footage approach in order to make offers over the phone. Number three, you definitely wanna start lowering the amount that you're paying for properties. Go up to 60% minus repair. So after repair value, multiplied by 60% minus the repairs, and then you'll be well on your way. You'll have more than enough spread in today's market. Number four, use creative real estate investing and ultimately number five extend all of your contracts out i hope you guys enjoyed these five tips be sure to like this video subscribe to this channel click the notification bell share this video with other real estate investors who can benefit from it and let's start a conversation below this video if you have any questions you know i'm more than happy to answer your questions in the comments below as well i'll talk to you guys on the next one perfect